been very interesting for me today. I think it's been a really interesting morning. So it's definitely very useful. People are desperate to work in an organisation where they're respected, where they feel trusted and that they have a role to play in the organisation's overall purpose. Employer branding for us is trying to ensure that you know we've got to talk about what happens next, so the future of uh, career paths, um, L&D programmes, things like that. Many organisations have got many different HR processes that they don't necessarily all tie in to the brand and what the business is trying to achieve through their vision and values. Engaging with HR has been increasingly engaging with people that want to be a part of changing their own organisation and changing their own role. I think you know, what I've been so pleased about in terms of this first Future Talent Workshop that we've done is that in terms of the three speakers, there was a, I felt there was a really nice narrative flow. My presentation today was around something called the value motive, which is something we try and measure within an organisation. And really it's about understanding what an organisation's purpose is. Many organisations have largely lost sight of uh, a value motive around serving the needs of society and our view is that those organisations that understand that their value motive has a societal dimension tend to be more valuable over the long term. The stuff that I was talking about today was the importance of building a brand inside out. So way before you even start to think about what's my employer brand, how's that going to function, start inside the organisation. Your people are your biggest uh, brand assets. Uh, they're out there in the world spreading your brand DNA and so actually if you look after them and create the right kind of working environment and turn those into advocates then your brand as an employer looks after itself. So summing up my discussion today uh, was really around bringing the realities of building and developing the employer brand, bring it to life and actually looking at some of the mistakes that we've made as a brand but also some of the good things that we've done as well. So a good balance to taking the other speakers and putting it into practice. I think the key takeaway I've taken away from today's event is about um, the human capital and understanding what the purpose of an organisation is and getting the two to marry up and really understanding that your brand is your brand. There isn't a separate employer brand and your brand to your customer. They are both um, the same thing. I think there's a really interesting point today about there isn't an employer brand and a consumer brand. It's all one brand and I think that's really interesting. You can't say you're one thing and, and do something different. Um, I mean, that's that's a pointless exercise and I think that's come out of uh, some of the speakers this morning. Everyone is at different places on the employer branding journey through to having to build um, relationships with their exec teams to actually talk about why it's so important through to others who are a lot further down the journey. So it's been quite insightful in that respect. Every organisation or pretty much every organisation will say people are its biggest asset, people are our greatest asset. Um, and yet actually in terms of the asset management of that, it's most organisations biggest weakness. What we've seen today is people feel as though they've not just got permission to speak about changing their organisation and being a catalyst for that. A lot of people are putting their hands up and saying, OK, how can I be supported in doing that? This is not a project, it's a way of life. Every single employee owns the brand as an employer and you never stop working at it. You never stop taking your eye off the ball because uh, the world around you and the context changes every single day. Every organisation is in a similar position. Um, so I think it's just a question of you know, feeling proud in terms of the company you work for. It's, it's, there's no secret ingredient. You, you just have to understand your organisation. Businesses are just groups of people. Um, that's all they are <laughs> um, and so that's what we need to think about.